Hi there, my name is Rainy Reed and I'm the town manager for the town of Duxbury and I'm providing a brief recap of our special town meeting which was held on Monday, October 17th at seven o'clock. The voters were presented with 13 articles for their consideration of which two were indefinitely postponed and the remaining balance were all voted by the voters, uh, not with unanimous support, but with strong support across the board. The two chief articles that got the most attention and in fact, caused our town meeting to actually have a delayed start this year. We started at 7.30 because we had a lot of people interested in the increase to the Community Preservation Act surcharge. The proposal was brought forward by the Community Preservation Act, or the Community Preservation Committee, to increase our surcharge, which had been decreased about 10 years ago from 3% to 1%. Uh, and the proposal this year was to bring it back from one to three. And there was a lot of interest. We had a lot of voters present. Uh, we had a total of 359 people voting on this one article. And the article did pass uh, with a margin of 279 to 80. And as I said, the measure is gonna increase the Community Preservation Act real estate tax surcharge from one to 3%. The proposed increase is going to appear on a ballot question following the March special town meeting, excuse me, the, the March annual town meeting in 2023. So this was the first in a series of two steps that will require voter approval. Uh, the remaining articles also considered the purchase of a 39, a 35 and a half acre parcel of conservation land with an active bog known as the Ricker property. Uh, it's a beautiful piece of property located uh, on Mayflower Street. The voters accepted that as well. And we had other discussions and other articles, most notably uh, the acceptance of McLean's Way as a town road, town way that passed. We had uh, union contracts for the DPW and the library departments. We amended our personnel policies. We had a series of unpaid bills. Uh, we had a couple of supplemental appropriations articles, uh, one of which was indefinitely postponed because we're not using taxpayer funding for that. Instead, we will be using ARPA funding, the American Recovery Plan Act funding for that, as well as uh, an article for school safety measures, which was also indefinitely postponed, that we are able to use ARPA funding for that as well. We rescinded some borrowing and we funded a CPC project for the preservation of the Simmons Harrington Farmhouse at 761 Temple Street. Uh, if anybody would like to watch all of the action as it occurred, I, I encourage you to go to the pactv.org website and you can see the replay times there. Thank you very much for tuning in. Appreciate it.